Everybody, welcome to Epic Brew. I'm Tom. Today we're taking a look at the newest armor sets that they released in Mordhau. The Arcanist, the Fallen Knight, the Huntsman, and the Warrior. Now, as part of the newest uh, patch, they also added a new horde mode, which I'll probably check out later. Not today. I'm going to try to wrangle some friends together and we'll check that out. But for now, we're just going to look at the armor sets. I got to say, obviously, I liked them enough that I bought them because here they are. But there's four armor sets, 10 bucks, whatever that is in your country, convert it, I don't know. And uh, you get a full armor set and a weapon skin for each of the classes. You can kind of see, spoiler alert, Arcanist gets an Evening Star skin, the Fallen Knight gets a Messer and the Heater Shield skin. That's what the Heater Shield looks like in the back. It's kind of moldy looking. The Huntsman gets a Longbow, no surprise there. Nothing too fancy, they're little wooden designs. I'm going to go in a deeper dive here in a second, but I'm just doing a quick overview so you can get an idea and then the uh warrior gets a war axe it's it's pretty standard nothing too crazy there obviously i think the arcanist takes uh first place in so many different categories it's just a really cool design the downside for this guy though is you probably noticed 311 this isn't a lot of armor going on here he's uh anti-crunch but not anti everything else he's basically a, got a really cool weapon or in a bathroom and of course you can mix and match the evening star skin with any of the other builds that you want but this is like the dlc like this is what you get with each one of them and i'm gonna read the official description for each of them uh the arcanist armor set you get a full armor set three glove variants uh the variants are basically you see i've got these little medallions here on the wrists and so the first variant is both medallions second variant it's just one medallion and the third variant is no medallions nothing too crazy there and then you get the evening star skin which you know it looks really cool it would be a nice little touch i i don't know how hard it would be for them to do it but if they had like a little flame in there i think that would be really cool and fitting with the new um demonic patch that they've released you can customize it i'll give you an idea of kind of the color options here you can go back and forth and Kind of just eyeball it real quick here. Nothing too crazy. The design's really cool. Uh, but yeah, I think... I wish I could change these little wisps. Uh, there's prob They're like runes, I guess. I can't really zoom in on them. But you can't change the color. And it just looks like he's got some toilet paper stuck to his little robes there. Uh, if you want to take a look... Oh, let's take a look underneath so you can see what his legs look like. There you go. It nothing too crazy. The boots look really cool though. Those are some cool looking boots, I gotta say, but they're covered underneath his uh fancy bathrobe. Oh look, it reset my colors. Gotta love <laughs> I'll never stop hating the reworked armory. It's just not great. Um then we got the Fallen Knight, which is a really cool looking skin. Kinda looks like uh Dark Souls boy. I'm not super familiar with that franchise, but when I saw this skin, I was like, oh, that looks like the guy on the cover of, I think, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3. I don't know. He's like doing the, he's like crouching or something. You know what I'm talking about if you know what I'm talking about. But the skin looks really good. So what I did with this guy is I kind of kicked up the roughness a bit because when it's shiny, it looks cool, but I think it looks really neat when you kind of get it a little scuffed up there and not so shiny. And the really cool thing about this Messer uh, skin is that you can customize the color of the blade. I don't know too many other weapons allow this. I could be mistaken. I think some of the blunt weapons do, like the mace and the evening star. But as far as swords go, you can make your sword completely gold or this black blade, which I think looks really cool with the, the overall design. And there's just the other color options, kind of just going through them real quick here to give you an idea. Uh, they look all different and then the heater shield nothing real special you know how i feel about shields at this point there's three different design options pretty standard there and then you can of course just change the colors they're all kind of self-explanatory there it's a bunch of squares and then with the hunts i think that was it right i got everything the leg wraps yeah nothing nothing really hiding out on this guy the huntsman Kind of what initially caught my attention before I saw the Arcanist skin for obvious reasons there. But we got a proper Robin Hood hat, 
which I like. I wish you could get rid of the feather, but unfortunately, we're stuck with the feather. Uh, the neck and the mantle, I think it's a really nice touch. So you can change the different patterns for the little uh, the neck piece right here. And if you go with the third option with that, and then what is it, the first option? I guess it does it with both options with the shoulder armor. It's a really nice touch that I don't see with too many other skins, but the lines from the neck piece align with the lines from the shoulder piece. So it looks like one cohesive design, even though they're two separate pieces. Uh, I think that's a really nice touch, a little detail that I would like to see in other armor sets uh, that aren't necessarily DLC, but maybe that's what we pay for. <laughs> the nice little extra touch. The longbow skin itself is pretty basic. We'll jump in and look at this real quick. I can't really zoom in on the edges here, but you can see how they're just a little curved. The colors, it's pretty much exactly what you think the colors are going to be. Just the, the little strings and then the wood itself. Nothing too crazy there. Don't love it. I don't hate it, but you know, it's something different, something new. And then for the warrior, you got 222 armor all the way down. Oh, I forgot to point out. This guy's full armor, 333. Huntsman, 111. This guy, 222. And then this one's just kind of like a meme build, I guess, 311. But for the warrior, there you go. The, it's got a little bird butt helmet, which is what it is. You know, I'll probably use it. One of the very few helmets. It's not really feathers, though. It's it's like a horse butt. So it's not a bird butt. It's a horse butt. Maybe that's the differential uh, way I'll look at it. <laughs> but I don't really like this one that much compared to the other three. I don't like the scale armor in general. It just kind of looks reptilian to me. Um, but, you know, everybody likes different stuff. Uh, it's pretty straightforward skin. There's nothing too fancy. Nothing that unique about it. You can take a look at the war axe here. It's you know you can customize the colors pretty well with it. There's the shaft and then kind of the metal part of it, and then the inside of the blade. You can do some nice color combinations there. Again, not nearly as cool as the fallen knight and the arcanist weapons, but it's just something different. And you know what? For ten bucks for the four of them, I'm not complaining. You can always mix and match. You can pick different you know you can pick different there we go skins and change it up however you want you want them to have the nomad one there you go boom but that's more how for you <laughs> you can just mix and match however you want but i did want to show a nice little overview of the new weapons let's get the warrior guy back with his just pick some random colors here real quick but there you go a short little video today um I'm looking forward to playing with especially this guy. I think that'll be kind of fun to see this weapon swinging around my screen, hopefully crunching some heads. <laughs> That's going to do it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, like the video. Be sure to subscribe. More and more how coming soon, along with a bunch of other stuff I have planned. I'm waiting for that Ashlands Valheim update to hit, and then there'll be some Valheim for sure on the channel. But there you go. Stay safe, stay healthy. Catch you all next time.